In this video, we'll talk about histag protein purification. Histag protein purification is a method by which proteins can be purified by a single step affinity chromatography by using immobilized metal ion chromatography. Now, in this case, the affinity is the key principle behind separation. In this technique, a Ni NTA matrix is used, a nickel NTA matrix is used, and the protein is tagged with hexahistidine. And there is an interaction between this matrix and this particular histidine tag, which is very specific. And there are non covalent interactions like coordinate bonds between these two. And that, that is how the protein gets attached with this matrix and it's easy to separate. So where does the histag come from? Actually, we have to attach this histag with the protein. In order to do so, we have to start with an expression vector where we clone our open reading frame. And in the N terminal or the C terminal of this particular protein, one can attach a hexahistidine tag at the DNA level. Now, once this particular vector is introduced into the bacterial culture or let's say mammalian cell which depends on the type of expression vector we are using these expression vector would give rise to the protein inside these cells and ultimately these proteins would be tagged with this hexahistidine so what is the advantage of these kind of tag using this tag we uh, we can understand where is our protein of interest in a mixture of other proteins so we can separate them from a mixture of proteins now like any column chromatography this particular uh, chromatography has a simple workflow so it starts with a equilibration step then a binding step where our protein of interest binds then a wash and a elution step let us go through these steps a bit slowly so first step is equilibration, where we run our equilibration buffer through the column. In this equilibration step, the column material gets soaked and equilibrated for a particular pH. Now the buffer that we have are using, it has to be compatible with the protein of interest that we want to purify. Factors to keep in mind while choosing this buffer are ionic strength and pH. So factors such as ionic strengths are limited by protein stability. So if we change the ionic strength, the protein might get denatured. And while we are purifying the protein, we don't want a denatured protein, right? We want it in its native state. Next step is binding. Here we give the protein uh, or the cell lysate. So in this step, there are multiple proteins which are present in the lysate, but our protein is tagged so it is able to bind to the matrix now protein samples are generally dissolved in specific buffers and loaded into the columns proteins bind to the column via several non-covalent interaction in this case the non-covalent interaction is coordinate bonds once protein have been immobilized in the stationary phase then we have to use wash buffer so the next step is washing Washing ensures that you don't have any other non-specific bound stuff in the column. All the non-specific untagged proteins would be washed away in this stage. During the stage of uh, washing, all the, uh, all the weak bonds or non-covalent interactions are broken down and only the specific interactions are re retained. Now, last step is elution. In this elution step, we want to collect the protein that is bound in the column. So after all the non-specific interactions are removed, now we are using a particular buffer which has an altered pH and ionic strength, which would loosen up the binding between the matrix and the protein of interest. And then it would come down into the uh, tube and we can collect that. So now we understand how we can use histag protein purification to purify our protein of interest from a mixture of protein. Once we have purified our protein, it is important to understand and cross check whether we have, uh, whether this assay has worked or not. In order to do that, we can run an SDS page and further do a Western blot against this particular protein. Anyway, let's talk about the benefits of this purification. 
This is compatible with cell culture media and lysates, easy to use and quite sensitive and specific. It is cheaper than many other chromatographic techniques such as gel filtration chromatography or let's say other kind of HPLC techniques. Anyway, there are certain disadvantages but that can be overcome. The disadvantage includes this technique often requires optimization to minimize non-specific binding. So many of the cases one has to calibrate the ionic strength of the equilibration buffer or let's say the binding buffer etc. So little bit of standardization is required but this technique is really really specific and important. You can get many flashcards and notes regarding to these topics in my Facebook page. You can follow me on Instagram and my Instagram and Facebook handle is provided here. Links are provided in the description. So in my Instagram page there is daily MCQ. You can participate in that and win exciting prizes like these ones. Anyway, this is happening in my second channel, so subscribe that. You can support my channel using Patreon or Bhim UPI app. You can also click on the super thanks option on the right hand uh, corner of the video. You can click on that and pay via net banking, Paytm, PayPal or UPI. All my social media links and handles are provided in the description. Feel free to connect. See you in the next video.